Patanjali sir would like to uh, address the audience. Uh, dignity is on the dais and of the dais. I am a natural farmer for the past two decades and a, an extremely reluctant speaker because as Indians we speak so much, do so little. But it so transpires, <laughs> Bhagavati wanted me to learn, understand, imbibe things. Perhaps if there is one speaker left on earth, it should be me. So it's a wondrous task. My parents, father now is 95 years of age, lost mother. They lived on a desolate space in Madhya Pradesh about 20 years back because son was bitten by a small book, One Straw Revolution, Ek Tinke Se Aai Kranti. Ek Tinke Se Kranti Aa Sakti Hai. Dr. Chari, uh, I would simply sum it up in five minutes how this method, over a period of time we made mistakes, learned, but now we can lay down the foundation of a nodal, multi-layer, no poison, permanent food forest, which if we take a quote from Rahim, it meets 15 SDG goals out of the 17. It recharges groundwater. It supports the river system. First of all, above everything, on a minuscule of uh, expenditure, you'd be shocked and surprised. Not even thousands of crores few hundreds of crores, we can bring down the temperature to a level which will be bearable. That is our immediate concern. 1.5 degree rise is here for all us to witness in the next five years once. I am not saying this. IPCC report says 20 years hence, we'll cross everything. So we developed and since I have reverence, reverence for mother nature is visible form of God. Every religion says that Nature is God. No religion does enough, frankly. So since I had that, perhaps I got insight into this, of this kind. Many of us present here in this hall have visited our farm, some from Kenya, where all these have started. About two and a half thousand acres uh, is currently under this kind of farming. It's a silent revolution which is taking place. If you have 10,000 such farms where temperature in the year one comes down by three degrees, on our farm of almost 18 years, next to Narmada Ji in Madhya Pradesh, outside temperature in Khargon district goes to 50 degrees because temperature has risen by one degree in the past one decade. Our farm's temperature never crosses 36. It is hugely productive, hugely. You just need to understand what nature is the ultimate teacher, no one. We touch nowhere, no scientist, nobody. We do not know the amount of life which is there in a fistful of soil. It is far more than what the number of lives which exist on earth. So let's stop uh, doing that. Do whatever science, I'm not against science, I'm not against learning about it, but it is beyond us. So let's learn from nature. Let's learn, learn from forests. Forests, who goes and uh, does anything, any pesticide, organic, in <laughs> inorganic, who goes and uh, puts uh, chemical fertilizer? Four things that you need uh, in a brilliant soil for the sake of my Kisan Bandhu, I'll sum it up uh, in Hindi also in towards the end in two minutes. One is carbon, which uh, Dr. Uh, Chari so rightly said, carbon sequestration. So this humble grass which belongs to India, where to where? Khas, khas, khas uh, is what is known in Maharashtra. Does 15 kg of carbon 
per square meter and if you surround anything any plant with vetiver king of thailand is the patron worldwide patron of uh, vetiver or kas world bank supports it china has adopted it for its uh, railroad stabilization for its so called kachra <laughs> management australia senegal vietnam uh, stabilizes its uh, road of 3 and 1/2 thousand kilometers with uh, this above all indonesia they have a river sita room which is the filthiest river on earth as bad as our yamuna ji in delhi yamuna ji for other parts are still surviving so about this vetiver uh, we gifted it to eco task force being in the government i know that how difficult is the government if you try to sell or if you try to do something else I mean, it, it has to go through so much of process so the major general heading the eco task force of the indian army was a friend he visited our farm and became very good friends since even after retirement we are friends we gifted 1.75 crore of vetiver together and seed balls and seed ball machines 200 of them at eight different locations including one in maharashtra in marathwada where there was no soil left nothing in 3 years the wildlife came back the commanding officer there got the carbon measured by a central university from scientist from central university from jabalpur this four years back it was or three years back it was 750 ton in that 2000 acres every year this grass multiplies 10 times minimum in good soil 20 times you imagine at one place currently it will be doing more than 3000 tons at eight different locations including gangaji national geography covered it doesn't really matter in rajasthan in illegal mines of uh, query in delhi bhati mines in pithoragarh in kokrajhar <laughs> in samba so ev everywhere now it is doing almost 10000 tons of carbon sequestration this humble grass as one layer and it recharges ground water in that sita room river the biggest measure which they are taking for purification of the river system it, it's a documented thing it's a there is a film on that is vetiver because the roots of this purifies it's a natural bioenzyme the filthiest of water it can make drinkable so they have already reached about 40 kilometers of 200 odd kilometers sant sinjewal my friend knows he's a friend of mine so to him also I was saying, when he would uh, send me a picture of some cementation on the you know, riverside which he had revived, I'll tell him, I'm a blunt man, I'll tell him, don't cement it, rather plant vetiver. And I, I was willing to gift him the vetiver. So one single humble grass, a group of five, ten middle class people together came down and uh, gifted this 200 uh, seed bowl machines, each machine costing 25,000 rupees is currently supporting 3 crore of uh, 3 crore of trees <laughs> and more than 500 crores of vetiver slips that is the uh, extent coming back to uh, the farming uh, how since vetiver is fixing so much of carbon the more carbon your soil has the more productive your, your uh, farm is so if 15 kg per sequest, uh, per uh, this thing, if you surround anything, a papaya and imli, in uh, Chiang Rai University in uh, Thailand, where the ch children were trapped in that cave, they experimented, uh, did a very simple experimentation. Two imli plants of the same age, one surrounded by vetiver, one without it. The one surrounded by vetiver grew five times faster because it holds the so uh, topsoil, it holds the moisture, and it brings the micronutrient from the lower depths to the root zone. Now, our innovation was that we grow two trees together, a Moringa and a Gandharaj lemon. I come from the eastern part of the country, so I know about this lemon. This is most fragrant lemon on earth, and the skin of that is anti-cancerous. 
Of late, since last four years, I realized the importance of black turmeric. I was principal chief commissioner here during COVID-2. That time, COVID-2 perhaps was not known in its full scope and fatal nature of this. So we uh, got two and a half truck loads of raw turmeric, lacadong, rajendra sonia, and black turmeric. And the, we gifted this to 8,000 families and officers and officials. There were only two deaths in our department. During COVID two times, that too they had comorbidities. Besides other measures, this was, I would like to believe that this was far more important. I know now I'm in touch with the additional secretary health. Our system, our methods of guduchi, of black turmeric or turmeric is way, way superior in combating cancer, provided it is grown in soils like this, provided it is what is the scripture says that food, food is medicine. I will end my conversation because I have, I'll come back and two o'clock I'll, uh, in 20 minutes I'll try to sum up everything what we are doing. But with pride, a reluctant speaker tell you that practice this or perish. And I would end the, and as Dr. Kale uh, made the, this thing so poetic, my most favorite uh, poet, Anupam Mishra which my friend, of course, working for water for all this while would know it better, which sums up the current situation of our country and of the world. Ye saikadon hazaaron talab achanak shunye se nahi prakat huye the. Inke piche ek hikai thi, inhe banwane walon ki. To dahai thi, inhe banane walon ki. पिछले 200 साल में इस नई पढ़ाई ने इस इकाई दहाई सैकड़ा हजार को शून्य बना दिया